Hey everybody, it's Notorious here, your friendly neighborhood knot enthusiast and hitch connoisseur. I'm here to talk about stopper knots today. And if you haven't heard about a stopper knot, then you're probably in danger. First thing you need to know about a stopper knot is that any access line you're using should have one. Even if you think that you have much more rope than what you will ever travel to get the stopper knot, then you should move the stopper knot up. So most people when they, and I'm gonna talk about strictly SRT scenarios, single rope technique, or SRS as you wanna call it. And most people when they make a stopper knot, they just will, you know, okay, I'll just make a stopper knot. And now, They've created a stopper knot, which is great. A, any stopper knot is better than no stopper knot. And now that we have this triple overhand here, very secure stopper knot, we're going to examine what would happen if you were to fall down the length of your rope and actually have to make use of this stopper knot where your device or whatever you're using, hitch, actually gets stopped by the stopper knot. Okay, so imagine if you will, I've moved this down a little bit just because you'll see why it's just not practical for it to be as high as it was. But let's say you've, you're on your device and for this I'm gonna be using the Rope Runner Pro. It can be anything, it could be a rope wrench, it can be a zigzag, you name it. Um, just be a regular old hitch. So I've lost control of my device and I've lost control of myself and I've fallen and I've dropped down onto this here. Now, if you can imagine that I'm free falling here, I'm just hanging here, my legs are extended and I now, on nothing but this here. How do I get back up or how do I get down? Well, believe it or not, getting down is gonna be harder than getting up, but getting up is also gonna be next to impossible. Um, you're gonna find yourself with not much to work with unless you were to take, you know, something like a hitch or a hand ascender and start making like a two to one or something, you know, to raise yourself up. But we're not going to focus on, on that today because that's really not important because you can avoid this problem by simply doing what I'm about to show you. And here's that. Okay, we're back. Now, in order to make this a much safer system, then you're going to need to stop placing your stopper knots directly at the end of the rope and start placing them with roughly, you want about this much, you know, an arm's length from fingertip to fingertip. And that's roughly around six feet but just for demonstration purposes, because I've rigged this the way I have, I'm going to place my stopper knot um, right about here. Oh, I'm just gonna do a double overhand. And now, because I've done that, I have this extra tail. And why is that important? Well, I'll show you. Because now, if I were to fall down through the canopy like that, and same scenario, come to a stop, a very unpleasant, abrupt stop at my stopper dot. Now, I actually have options because 
what I can do now is, so I'm you know, at the bottom here, feet are extended. You know, this is hard to demonstrate on the ground, but my feet are extended. And so what, what can I do now? Well, most people who climb um, SRS or single rope are going to have a foot ascender on. So this means that now I can, I've got my foot ascender right here and I can just simply place this into the rope like this and if I were to put my chest ascender on or you don't even need the chest ascender, you just raise it up and now look, now I'm above my stopper knot and I can just continue doing that until I clear it. And no fuss, no muss. You know, why make your situation worse by not having a stopper knot that allows enough tail? So another method you can use is if you don't have a foot ascender on, you can use a prussic, prussic loop. This is basically a sewn loop. You can make them at home by making the two ends connect with a double fisherman's bend. And I just have this figure eight knot in there to make it more easy to use as a foot loop. So what I can do is I can you know, if I were to be down where my stopper knot is, I can tie a prussic and that way I can just get my foot into the loop and then just like with the foot ascender raise up lift up the device and it's gravy so yeah a little uh, safety tip I'm not a professional never claim to be but I do try to make content that is accurate and of high quality. Of course, the only mistake I've made in this video is not having my helmet clipped, which I'll do now to demonstrate how safety conscious I am. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this quick tip, please definitely like the video. Subscribe if you like my other content. Check it out. I've got all sorts of hitch how to's, not tutorials for tying. Um, check it out. I think you'll like it. Bye.